Nowadays, you rarely see the veteran Nollywood actor Ime Kaiki on screen anymore and he's one of those actors that really serve our screen back then with his great acting skills. Ime Kaiki is really talented in acting and interpretation of movie roles, but why does it he act again? Why do we see him very often on screen? I'm going to be answering this question and so many other friends that you probably didn't know about. I'm going to be revealing deep secrets that he revealed even with his mouth. I'm going to be telling you high classic informations that you probably didn't know about. But if you are new to my channel, please ensure to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to bell the notification bell for more updates whenever I drop new videos. You can follow me on Instagram at favorpraise. Make sure you go there. It's in the description link below. Go there and follow me there. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Due to the fact that he has not been seen on screen does not mean that he's dead because many people have made rounds about him being dead. But I confirm it to you that he's still alive, well, ill and healthy. And even on December 2021, he still won the Nollywood Legend Award at the Afri Goods Award for his immense contribution to the Nollywood industry. So as it is presently, he's still alive. Emeka is someone who is very vocal about his thought on the movie industry and many times his outspokenness ruffled a lot of feathers. The loved actor has graced over 300 Nollywood sets and has acted in big movies such as A Million Tears, After My Heart, Against My Will and so many others. And we saw how good he was in those movies and all of a sudden his career in acting came to an abrupt stop. Speaking in an interview with Box Office, the actor revealed why he was absent from the movie industry and he said, He stopped acting for a while now because the industry has lost its salt. The actor were putting some acts that were annoying him. He said, He acted in Nigerian movies with a Nigerian accent, but other countries shouldn't come here and want to change our accent. He made it known, saying, When he sees his colleagues forming fake accents, I always wonder, What's wrong with these people? If you're an Indian, you do it like an Indian, likewise other countries. He said that he is too busy for that. So he got himself involved in better things than living fake Nollywood life. He also made it known that there are some people in various associations and guilds in the movie industry, especially the AGN, who have become gods. And he mentioned some names which include Emeka Oguga, Murphy Steven, Sovi MC Don, Oke Bakasi, Ifani DK, and so many others. And hearing this, this is kind of shocking because he even mentioned Oke Bakasi, somebody who we all know and believe to be a very cool and funny man. To think of him as one power hungry maniac trying to take the laws of the Nigerian movie industry into his hands seems kind of difficult to phantom. In an interview moment, Emeka Ike said this, that these five people he mentioned registered AGN as their personal business. No other individual can come in. The idea is that money rules the world. Money is the main reasons that they were there. It revealed clearly that the AGN, which is the Actors Guild of Nigeria, has been established long before now. But he can't remember the last time they had Actors Congress, where they all speak their mind on issues bordering the industry. The last Congress they had was when Vivian Ejuke was still there. Kate Enshaw too was very much in the business. And when he was asked about what he could do to fix the situation, he said, How do you rule a set of people that do not see or know themselves? All the money you are collecting, how do you account for it? He said, in making it known that the press should investigate the matter and tell the whole world the truth rather than dramatize that Ime Kaike is being too outspoken. With that said, you will agree with me that whether he left the movie industry or not, the relationship he had with some of his colleagues was really, really bad. And I'm sure there will be this hatred amidst them behind the scene. And it is very, very heartbreaking and disheartening at the same time. In 2019, he was contesting for the Federal House of Rep. The actor has been tagged as one of the Nollywood's bad boy due to his peculiar movie roles. His first major role was in the movie Deadly Affairs in 1987. He was born on the 22nd of March 1967 and he is the son of Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Ike. His father was a pastor before he passed away and is the second born of five children. He was born in Imo State where he had his primary school education at Eco Primary School in Barry Go and joined the Akpata Memorial High School for his secondary school education. He graduated with a degree in mechanical engineering from the University of Lagos. He made it known that he was begged to come back to the Nollywood industry and though he has not been consistent, 
he still sometimes acts movies and recently 2019 2020 he has been seen acting in virgins often wicked traditions stingy bachelors royal bracelets and in other 2020 films like royal cross and so many others like that so what do you think about him what do you think about his acting what do you think about the fact that he's really really cool acting those bad boy movie roles what do you think about him what do you like about the fact that some people are actually hiding secrets it's a normal thing to hide secrets and there is no association organization that does not have his own secret so i'm sure that the hygienists must have their own secret that they don't reveal to just anybody like that so what are your thoughts about him what do you think about the fact that the agent might actually be having this godfather godfatherism and all of that even in the movie industry comment in the comment section what do you think about the fact that he is back in the industry and all of that let me know in the comment section but if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button also don't forget to bell the notification bell for more updates whenever i drop new videos you can follow me on instagram at favor praise it's in the description link make sure you go there and follow me in another video i'm going to be talking about him his lifestyle answering question why he's blonde and all of that why he just reveals things like that and i'm going to be talking about his marriage issues girlfriend dating histories and so many other things that you don't know about him but thanks for watching this video till the end and i hope you were able to gain something about it but I love my wife and she's my wife. Okay, so is everything fine at the home front at this point in time? Like your well, wife is back with you? She's my wife. My, my mother-in-law just dropped from the car. Her so auntie. your wife is back with you? It's not your business. We're working really? things out. And the thing is this. Whatever it is, you keep working on things. You keep working issues out. You're not going to give up on something you love. Now you have a chain, a necklace on your neck. And you're at Osho the bus stop and you're driving. And some guy puts his hand through to pick that chain, the first thing your hand will do is to protect your neck. Your first go like, oh my God. Your hand goes impulsively there. You need to protect your own. So no man can walk into a man's house and say, I want to marry your wife. It's not possible. Okay, well, you have said it's that it possible. is not our business, so but you, then yeah. uh, you are in the public eye and it is a business at that point in time when you have decided to be an actor and uh, we have keyed into this and we love you and no, we really you, want to you know need to things just about keep, you. You need to keep quiet right now because it might disturb our peace process. Well, it is very good that we have you here and to clear the air, obviously, because this is, uh, you know, what the public would like to know still. And I'm sure we're going to have uh, messages here. So you want to be a part of this and you have some questions for Mr. Emeka Ike on the show. Why don't you just tweet Rosa TVC Connect, hashtag in ENT Splash. And I'm loving every bit of this. All right, we'll go on this break and we'll be back. Stay tuned. What have I done wrong? Why are you treating me like this? Don't cheat on yourself and listen. I'll advise you concentrate on your studies and getting better first. I'd rather you stop coming here anymore. I mean, go take care of yourself. I love you, Sandra. Please, please, please. Please, please. Please, please.